Mm. I'm here with the gorgeous and very talented Lance Piers. Hey, my culture taught in our religion. Secret society, nothing said, no exceptions. All it takes is a sorry to be forgiven. But pride in your ego really got you tripping. Talking so much, what you wanna hear, you miss it. The foul language that you speak and teach unto your children. Buff by my flow, got hard behind it like a prism. I'm on a journey to the promised land, call me pilgrim. I'm on a mission, a marathon, no intermission. I use my intuition, put the bait in and go fishing. I do it for the millions, for the masses and the billions and the buildings that they building and the secrets they concealing. Give these kids no love and they wonder why they killing Give these kids no hope and then punish them for stealing Really? I mean You're only 23 years old but you've achieved more than most artists that are out in the charts today, right? Wow, that's a huge accomplishment to, to give somebody and put on somebody. I mean, yeah, I've done a lot, you know, I've got a lot. You were signed at the age of 16 to Interscope Records and you were mentored by Nigel Rogers, who actually wrote Holiday and one of the other songs for Madonna. Is that right? <laughs> it's true, it's true. Niall's uh, my first mentor and an incredible songwriter, um, just, you know, a, a music uh, impresario in general. So, like, just the knowledge I was able to soak up by learning from him was incredible. Yeah. But that was at the age of 16. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we met when I was 16. Well, you know what it was is I was on the um, underground open mic circuit. So here in New York, especially like in the early 2000s, the way before the wave of like just being on the Internet, you really had to have a presence in the clubs and you really had to have a presence on stage. So um, I was just performing. I had this this big buzz. And one day he was one of the um, he was actually uh, a judge at something I was doing. And, you know, we just clicked. He kind of, he was standoffish at first, so he didn't just give it up right away. It wasn't like that. It was more so actually somebody brought him to one of my studio sessions, even after I had won the contest. And he was kind of like, you know, in the back, like, see who this girl is She's type right. of, you know, right. who, who is she, who is she? And then I ended up getting into the booth and, um, you know, started to, to just to rap, to sing, to just put together the record I was making. And when I came out, he was like, let me reintroduce myself to you. I'm... <laughs> You know, and I was like, hey, nice, you know. So it was it was a great start of a, something beautiful. And, you know, you know, I don't get to see him as much now, but um, I would definitely say that, you know, to, to be the artist I am today, you know, the roots and the things that I've come from, you know, he being one very, very, like, valuable piece you of it. were awarded Best Songwriter by BMI alongside Lady Gaga. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And when? <laughs> when I was 17. <laughs> Okay, so did you ever meet Lady Gaga? Yeah, of course, of course. I mean, like I said, like the underground open mic scene was something that like it just churned out some of the great artists that you see today. And Gaga happened to also be one of those artists that was, you know, just like relentless, you know, and taking not taking no for an answer and just on the stages. So we, we crossed paths many times and we developed a, a nice little friendship or whatever. And, you know, shout out to her. She's done great. So hang on. When's the collaboration? <laughs> we haven't spoken in a minute, but you know what? Hey, I'm, I'm definitely open to it. I think I think she could use that too. I think she yeah, she needs a rapper, a female yeah, rapper. Yeah. yeah, I mean, you know what it is? It's like that that strong woman, that fierce, like you know, like all, all, go all out, aggressive thing. Like she she represents that too. That's the Madonna era. That's the now, and that's really what it is for me. That's what I represent. So yeah, you're an East Coast rapper. But you toured with Snoop Dogg, who's a West Coast rapper. How was that? Oh, amazing, incredible. Oh my God. Like Snoop, first of all, is just like the, the one of the best performers I've ever actually gotten to see. And, and you realize that because he does it with the live band, but then he strips his show back and then he just has, you know, his, his DJ, shout out Battle Cat. And, you know, the whole um, dog pound was there. And it was amazing. I mean, that West Coast vibe too is so laid back, and it's just like you know the 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 melody and the cadences in so many of his records. You just absorb it. You pick it up. You know. So um, amazing tour. I have funny <laughs> memories of like literally like being on the tour bus, and it was like Snoop, and it was like Corrupt, and Corrupt is like a big brother too, and Daz, the whole dog pound. And it was like I was the only girl, so it was like they would be like, Yo, go make a peanut butter jelly sandwich for us, like because you know we would be on the bus for so many hours, like we would be like eight hours on a bus. You know what I mean? So it was cool. It was like having big brothers and, um, you know, shout out to Snoop. I mean, I've been blessed, you know, I've been I've been blessed to have great embrace me really young, you know, yeah. and it's not a gimmick and it's not about like, oh, this label says do this. It was like more so they heard the music and it and it was organic and, it, you know, but so hang on. Why has Snoop not collaborated with you yet? Why? Snoop. Why, Snoop? Snoop, why? why? Snoop, you heard it on Distract TV. I want a collaboration. Yeah, and she's good. She's hot as well. I'm hot literally, because right now, 
Thank you. Thank you. The steam is rising right now. It's it's actually what is it? It's like a, it's a heat wave. Yeah, but it's like 38 degrees Celsius today. I don't know about Celsius. What is it? I Fahrenheit? just know. <laughs> You know, maybe I need to go back to school for that. No, it's like 98 to 100 degrees, and then you know, there's just the the sun is right here. But you know, it doesn't get more beautiful than this skyline. So um, this is my city. This is New York City. I have to ask. So when I heard that you started rapping quite young, I kind of envisaged you rapping about Barbie dolls and the boy that you fancy. <laughs> <laughs> what did you start rapping about? I was rapping about like, you know, growing up in a broken home and just trying to deal with that. And at the same point in time, that was definitely still rapping about the, the, the guy I fancy. That was definitely in there, you know? I mean, for sure. First crushes, first loves, first heartbreak. Can I ask you, and get very personal, what was it like growing up in New York and, you know, what is it that you rap about? I mean, I'd like to know a bit more about your upbringing. Right. I mean, now you're asking me what it is that I rap about? No, when you were younger oh, and, younger, uh, yeah. you know, you said you came from a broken yeah. home. Yeah. I Tell mean, me. You know what it is? It's like my, my mother, she raised me really just with the principles of like, you could do it yourself because she had to do it herself. You know, she was in a position of being mom and dad a lot of times, you know? And um, so the music was just about like the the, self-expression of what it feels like when you know there's not a lot of money to go around and you know you see your mom struggle and you feel like as a kid even though you're a kid like it's your job to make it better like it's your duty to change things and to give this better life to somebody that you know you admire so much so that was piece of it and then you know there was there was also like darker times where it was like um you know you're a kid for instance let's say you know you see like a, n a new man come into your space into your mother's space i should say you know and you might have those those conflicts, you know, where you feel uncomfortable, you feel like somebody's invading your space, and there might be like, you know, there was like certain, you know, just, just references to things that, you know, as a young woman, you're uncomfortable with, you know, so it was like that. I already know you fucked up, you could just shut up, or to get you cut up. I can kind of rap. I think Piers, when in a return EP, you know, come right up, free down, lends melody so perfectly, and at the same point in time, it's truthful, and it's and it's like, from a man's perspective, forgiving, but pride in your ego really got you tripping, talking so much, what you want to hear, you miss it, the foul language that you speak and teach unto your children, Buffer by my flow, got hard behind it like a prism, I'm on a journey to the promised land.